Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me sure you guys can see that over there. All right. So, welcome everybody today to our single kettlebell workout. So, fitness adaptations here. Sorry, I'm a little late. As always, I'm always running around because I always have to write the workouts, share it on social media. And uh, it's a, it's a job. It's like it's not just it's not just a workout. I have to like um, put in about about three hours of of work a day um, to load the videos, set them up, and uh, it's time consuming, but it's worth it. And uh, I'm here within within one or two minutes. I still have to put on my socks. So I hope everybody's doing awesome today. Um, we are going to be doing the first installment of the All About the Swing workouts. All About the Swing workouts. So it's going to be fun. And um, what I need is I don't see my fat burner. So no fat burners today. So, whoo, Kelly. Hello. Good morning. All right, so remember, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use dumbbells, not a problem whatsoever. Olguita, buenas, buenas. Oh, no lo mezclé, no lo mezclé bien. It tastes good. But it's strong. Entonces, um, so remember, if you have any injuries, do the easier versions of some exercises. Today is supposed to be a um, beginner's moderate type workouts. And the best I can summarize how to approach the workout is if you can't swing, um, if you don't know how to snatch well, if you don't know how to clean well, then have light weights. And even though you're going to pull the weight, just don't worry about the perfect snatch technique and just focus on following through with proper pressing motions. So... So a snatch is from the ground to overhead in one shot, right? So that's called a snatch from the ground, overhead to the top, one shot. There's no middle ground. Marisol, good morning. Yo también. I'm, I'm, I'm late too, so, so we're good. We're good. We're all good. Um, a, uh, and a clean is just from the ground to the shoulders in one movement. So don't go heavy if you're not familiar with kettlebell swinging, snatching, pressing, bent pressing, um, and you're always looking for the best angles. So shoulder mobility is ideal, is key. It is very important that you have shoulder mobility. If you have shoulder problems, if you have troubles, if you have trouble raising your shoulder in line, with your ear to the side of the head. If you have trouble doing this, you're gonna have trouble with most of the exercises. So just do your best and work with whatever mobility range you have. Don't try to be a superhero on your first class. If you have, if you see you have troubles, then make sure that you do those, those mobility exercises to so you can improve upon that. So Ceci, good morning. And uh, and what's fun today is we're gonna be doing the, all about the swings. We're gonna do two, we're gonna do two ladders for all about the swings. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna keep, uh, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do, instead of having one huge one, I'm gonna create multiple all about the swing. So I'm gonna have it's gonna have its own category. 
So even today, even though today it's a single kettlebell workout, it is workout number 16. It is all about the swings, workout number one, basically. Actually, well, let's say it's, it's, it's a full number one, but we're doing two more ladders. It's going to be the second and the third ladder of this series. What we're going to do now is we're going to warm up, and we're going to get into those ladders, and I hope that it's easy. Oh, man, look at that. I was looking for that cup today, and I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I just looked at it right out through the – through the through the through the screen, I saw the, the the coffee cup. So it says good morning. So good morning, everybody. Let's get this going. So make sure you hydrate. Remember, do all your things. Take your take your pre workouts. Um, get your intro workout. Get everything you need. And um, let's turn on. Let's turn on the the strain meters. Here we go. So we are going to start with the functional fitness. And three, two, one. Here we go. So we're, that's the strain gauge to make to see how much strain we are applying today. And I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to turn on my Fitbit. And I'm ready to go. So if you're ready to go, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. So I have my kettlebell in the middle already. I'm ready to go. Let's start with the warm up. Let's start with the circles, right? Because we are gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a lot of upper body work today. So again, if you have mobility issues, if you have shoulder mobility issues, subscapular mobility issues, work on it with these right here. So you're doing little circles, but your shoulder blades, you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades as you're doing the circles and you're opening up your chest and you're staying chest up. You should not have a round back. You should not be like this, right? Or like this, or getting lazy with the swings. Straight arm, lock them out, retract your shoulders watch so my shoulders they retract and i do those circles to maintain mobility make sure that it knows how to move doesn't forget and now shake it off we're gonna go over and under right here one arm over one arm under and then you alternate which arm goes over which arm goes under if you have a fit bit or a whoop, okay? Turn them facing down, okay? So the, 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 the clock should be facing down on your wrist so that you don't mess up the chip or the head of the, of the watch that you're wearing. It doesn't cause damage by the kettlebells. All right, now we're gonna go in reverse now. So we're gonna reverse the direction. I'm gonna go backwards. If you were going backwards first, you're gonna do circles forward now. Again, this is the first thing we're gonna do, right? We're gonna retract the shoulder blades tight. So from, from out, retract, and then start doing the reverse while you're holding that retraction, okay? Hold, keep your arms locked, and just keep squeezing your shoulder blades. Pretend you're trying to hold the pencil with the middle of your back, and you're just contracting that shoulder blade. Big circles, and let's go over and under again. One more time, over and under, right here. One arm over, one arm under. Keep those elbows up, and nice. Now we're gonna go we're gonna swing our arms back and we're gonna work on our hip hinge. Hip hinge is the most important part of a kettlebell swing. So a hip hinge, right, you're gonna drive your hips back, slide bend on the knees, and you're gonna drive your chest up. Your torso comes down. So even though I say, okay, let's say chest down, and then I say chest up, right? It's confusing. 
So let's go. Torso, bend your torso and drive your hips back, slide bend on the knees. And your chest, push it up, and it's gonna cause a little bit of, a, of an arch on your back. We're gonna drive our arms back, we're gonna come up, and we're gonna reach nice and high. We're trying to get those arms right in line with the ears. That's what we're trying to do. So we're going from, we're going from here, hinge, back straight, don't squat. This is a squat. My knees are going forward. They're almost in front of my toes. That's a squat. If I come up, 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 while I maintain my torso down, you're gonna feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Drive those arms back and come up. We're gonna do 10. So drive back, come up. Two, drive back, come up. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hands on the outside. Seven, eight. Nine, 10, shake it off. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna go a little wider, and we're gonna go hands in between our thighs. So we're gonna reach back, my back is still straight, I'm hinging, so this doesn't change. My leg position, that does not change. I still don't squat, okay? No squatting, zero squatting, okay? Hips back and just slide bend on the knees. I don't want you like this. Slide bend, okay? You're gonna reach back and come up. Ready? Let's go. Reach and come up. One, two, look straight ahead. Three, and just follow the natural motion of your neck. Five, we're gonna say five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, right? It's all about technique, all about technique. Let's go with knees up, warming up, those hip flexors. Remember to march, work on opposite arm, opposite leg. So try to get your knee and your shoulder and your knee and your elbows to touch while you stay up. Do not bend down. To do it, stay high and try to get that, that knee to touch your elbow, right, without bending over. So you're staying straight, okay? That's good technique. And then eventually, this is how you march. Exact same thing, the only difference is you don't touch, you don't touch knee to elbow. Now, we're gonna kick back right here, warming up the hamstrings. Just contract them. Keep them up high if you can. Palm, heel to palm. Start with this and then start adding, right? And march, right? Touching, this, with you here, you're touching the same arm. All right? Just march, okay? Eventually, maybe touch your head. See that? I'm touching my head, and the other hand touches my, my heel. Again, this is proper running movements, proper walking movements. Learn to coordinate your body and okay? shake it off. Woo! Let's do some jumping jacks. We have 20 jumping jacks. Ready? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and shake it off. We're gonna do a little bit of a, of a wrist warm up, so let's go down on all fours. What I want you to do, you're gonna go flat, hands flat on the ground. You're gonna be on all fours, kind of when we do that, that, that hover position right here, right? That quadruped position, but we're gonna keep our knees down, okay? And what we're gonna do, shoulders should be above, shoulders should be above the, the, the wrist. And all I want you to do is just start rocking forward, backwards, one, forward, backwards, two, keep going, three. As you get warmed up, 
four. You go a little farther, five, without bending your elbows. Keep those elbows straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then shake it off. Shake it off. Woo! All right, next, we're gonna do it again. I want you to grab the floor like if an alien spaceship is coming over you and it's trying to pull you up, right? But what you're gonna do is we're trying to grab the floor so the alien spaceship does not take us up. Again, now we're gonna go forward and rock back. Let's do 10 of these again, ready? And try to go a little further, one, straight arm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold on to the floor, 10, and excellent. Come back up, woo! So your wrist, shake, shake, shake the wrist, right? Get some movement on that wrist, beautiful. Now, we're gonna open right here, sumo squat positions, right? So this is a sumo squat. We're in a wide, stable position, okay? And we're gonna put our, our palms on the thighs and we're gonna drive the chest down. Push, the, push your palm into your thigh as you push the chest down and look the other way. And then we're gonna keep switching, warming up the shoulders. Just go right here, two. And just keep doing this, just side to side. Get a nice stretch. Go at your pace, okay? You don't have to go at my pace. You go a little slower, a little deeper. Just keep moving right here, side, stretch. Stretch, 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 and breathe. And shake it off, beautiful. Let's go, high knees. So high knees is the same thing as a march, but we are going for speed as fast as possible. Uh, if you can't do high knees for speed, I want you to march for speed, okay? And my arms are still moving. Opposite arm, opposite knee. All right? Slow it down if you have to. Right? I don't want you to be like and all over the place. No, no, no. Just opposite arm, opposite knee, and just like a robot. Pum. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? They move together. But everybody else, we're doing speed, high knees. Ready? We're doing a 20 count. Set. Let's go. Two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and shake it off. Next, we have um, butt kicks, right? So right here, glute kicks. For speed, same thing. You're going to be on the balls of your feet, right? Moving the arms. If you can, I want you to march. For speed, stay on the balls of your feet if you can. So my heels are up, so I can work those calves, right? So I, I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my calves, and I'm kicking my butt for speed. We got 20 count. Ready? And let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Shake it off. Super important. Inner thighs. Let's start going side to side. See how I start small? I start small, and as I get more warmed up and I start getting deeper, right? I start getting deeper and deeper and deeper, right here. All the way down. As you warm up, start going deeper, right? Again, go at your pace. You do stretch out as much as you need. You can go as slow as you want to get a nice stretch, or go a little bit more dynamic. Because maybe your foot, you're a little bit more, you have a little bit better mobility, right? And I'm gonna get to the point where I'm gonna raise my toes and I'm gonna drive my elbows through, right? Just getting nice and low, getting a great warm up right here. All the way down and shake it off. All right, that's the end of the warm up. 
get something to drink and here we go <laughs> si olvida tengo la camisa hoy de superbank <laughs> all right so today is the introduction to the all about the swings for those of you who don't know who's, a, who's, who's here the first time maybe it's your first time ever doing a video with me or you're you found it on the internet um uh, what we do is we have a, what's called a ladder and the ladder means we are going um x amount of exercises so today we have uh two ladders of five exercises because it's a kettlebell flow we're going to learn to flow today right uh, using kettlebell swings um every every exercise has a component of a kettlebell swing involved and so what we do is we do a ladder is you start with exercise one we go to exercise two three four five and then we work backwards four three two one that constitutes a single ladder if we do a double ladder when we get back to one we immediately go back to two three four five four three two one if we do a triple ladder and you do it again as many ladders as you want but that's the main idea of the up and down ladder. So I call it the up and down ladder. And we have two ladders today of five exercises, all involving kettlebell swings one way or another. It's gonna be really fun, you'll see. And um, make sure that you take breaks when you need them. The first time that I do this, the first round, we're not gonna flow. We're gonna stop at every exercise. Just, I'm gonna give a little bit of tips. I'm gonna give a couple of tips just for performance and to help people out, uh, especially those who don't have dumbbells. But um, the second round, it is nonstop. I'm not going to be teaching. We're just going to keep moving. It's going to be flowing. When we flow, we never put the kettlebell down. That's the idea. If you have to rest, you rest with the kettlebell at the top, not at the bottom. But again, you do your best. You do what you can. But for now, let's get into the, the first ladder. All right. So... Everything today is one kettlebell, okay? If you have dumbbells, if you don't have a kettlebell, you want to use a dumbbell, all you need is one dumbbell. And the idea, right, is everything has a swing involved, so you just, the most important swing you need to know today is the single arm swing. And the difference we be the difference between a kettlebell and a dumbbell is with dumbbells, our thumb points down at the bottom. So at the bottom of the swing, it points down and points up. My thumb points up at the top of the swing. Now do not, I repeat, do not over rotate. Right here, up vertically, up and down. This is about as far as you want to go when you're swinging. When you're cleaning, you go a little bit further just so you can put the kettlebell on your shoulder. But if you're swinging, you're staying vertical and then you're pointing straight down at the bottom, vertically up at the top. That's with kettlebells. With a dumbbell, your always, thumb is always up at the bottom and the top. So it looks like this, right, and when, when I'm swinging. If I do a double swing, I grab, by the, I grab both of them. If I transition into a single swing, right? And I switch at the top, right here is where the kettlebell is the lightest, about to fall down, that's when I switch, right? That's when I switch. Don't switch at the bottom, switch at the top. And you're always hinging. All right, so this is the most important move is the swing because today is all about the swings. A clean is exact is a swing, but you're just gonna you're gonna bring it, the, you're gonna rotate the, the dumbbell a little bit, so you're gonna flip it into the top of your shoulder, then you flip it straight down. This is a clean, right? So swing and clean. All right? If you do a snatch, right, it's just up top again. A snatch is from the bottom to the overhead in one motion. If you don't know how to do that, just lift it up, okay? Slow, slow, right? Right here, slow. Just be safe with it 
until you learn to snatch, which is you're using your legs and you're catching the dumbbell at the top, okay? That's more advanced moves. Um, if you know how to snatch, great. If you don't, again, just do the easier move. So those you need to know those the most, right? The single arm swing, double-handed swing, clean, and snatch. That's And I'll explain the rest as we go. All right, so with that out of the way, with that out of the way, let's get into the swing. So we got 10 and 10. 10 double-handed swings with the kettlebells, 10 single-handed swings, okay? So 10 and 10. Immediately, we're gonna go to alternating power cleans with a swing. So we're gonna swing, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna clean, right? Power clean to the top, then we're gonna switch. Power clean, switch. Power clean, switch. Okay, we are gonna do 10. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to the double hand swing. We're gonna do 15 double handed swings. Then we're gonna do a, an alternating snatch with a swing, right? So a snatch is up and then swing, switch, up, swing, switch, up, swing, switch, all right? So we're gonna do 10 of those. And then immediately we're gonna go, after we do the last one, we're gonna go into a clean and we're gonna go to a rotational swing to a bed press. So rotational swing, bed press. So a bed press is like a mixture of a windmill. So you're going from a press but as you're pressing, you're kind of like going down to work the obliques, work the QL, you're gonna go straight down, you're gonna press, and you're gonna come back up, okay? So, and then we're gonna switch. Boom, boom, we're gonna go rotational, and then press, reach down, come back up, all right? So, now, when we do a rotational, when we do a rotational swing. So right now, I'm facing you, I'm facing straight this way, right? So now if I go here, I'm in line with my body. So right about there, I'm in line with my body, okay? When I do a rotational swing, I wanna cross this plane. So when I punch through, I'm gonna cross that plane so that the kettlebell, the kettlebell can, or the dumbbell, can swing to the outside and I'll catch it and I'll bring it to my shoulder. If you swing to this side of the plane, so if I swing this way, where's the kettlebell gonna go? Right to your knee. If you go to the outside, it's gonna go to the outside and you're gonna catch. Do not hit your knee, okay? Just rotate, punch, punch in a rotation, right? So. Punch like someone is someone is standing here with their head is right here, right? You're not gonna punch them here in front of you. You're gonna punch them behind. So you punch behind and you bring it back. Okay. So that's the rotational, and then we do the bent press, right? Slight legs, slight, slight legs, slightly open, right? I hinge with one one foot. I kind of straighten out the other leg, and it's almost like a a hinge and side lunge, but you're not really lunging, you're just hinging, and then you're making a straight line with your hands, okay? And then you come back up. When you do the bend press, look up at the dumbbell, right? And come back, and come back up, and then look straight ahead. Look up, look straight ahead, okay? So do your best, just do your best. So those are the five exercises. We're gonna work on them real quick, and that'll be, we're gonna do it one time, that'll be the end of ladder number one, okay? So let's get to it. Nothing to it but to get to it. So let me get a little chalk. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to kick some butt. Whew. Hey, look, my gloves are here. Sorry, guys. Let me put on these gloves real quick. If you have gloves, put them on because kettlebells will destroy your hands. I love these gloves because they're very thin. 
and they hold well. They hold really well. So here we go. Sorry, guys, but I want to make this a really good workout. I want to have good footage of me doing these workouts. All right. Here we go. Starting with double swings. We got 10 and then single arm swings. 10. Ready? And let's start swinging. Let's go. Double swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I got single arm. Single. One, two. Always hinging. Three, like the warm up. Four, reaching back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we are going to do a clean, all right? We're going to do a clean and sway. We're going to do ten, all right? So let's start from the bottom. This position right here is called the gorilla position. So whether you're doing a double hand swing or a single arm swing, you're always starting from the gorilla position. So you're you're here, you're in a good position, right? So like a like a silver back right here, you're or like a lineman, like a like a an NFL lineman, right? You're gonna you're gonna drag, drag through your legs and start your swings, right? So drag, pull, and go. And we got 10 cleans. Ready? If you're doing a dumbbell, you bring it to the top of the top of the shoulder, swinging. Top of the shoulder, all right? Rotate, flip to the top of the shoulder. Let's go. And one, switch. Two, switch. Three, switch. Four, switch. Five, switch. Six, switch. Seven, switch. Eight, switch, nine, switch, ten, all right, beautiful, okay, now we're going to go back to the double-handed swings, we got 15 reps, so we're starting from the rhythm position, grabbing the handle, we're in a nice football position, we're going to drag, drag through the hips, drag through, drag through the legs, and start swinging. Make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top right here. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, elbows in or slightly in front. Do not let the dumbbell get away from you because we don't wanna, we don't want it to pull us forward. We don't wanna hurt our lower backs. We wanna stay in and tight. Keep, keep it close to gravity, close to your center of gravity. You will have more strength, more power when you keep it close to your center of gravity, all right? so. We got 15, let's go, swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, beautiful. Next, we have the alternating swing to snatch. So we're gonna snatch and then we're gonna swing. Remember, so there's two ways to release. You can go from the top, right? Just just flip, flip your hand this way and then follow the kettlebell, catch it, right? And follow the swing or, right, you can snatch, bring it down to the shoulders and then drop from there. All right, and a snatch, again, same thing. This is why we practice on the swing. The reason we practice keeping the, the dumbbell close, right, is because when we snatch, we want to keep it close. If the dumbbell gets in front of you, you're going to go forward, and you're going to drop it forward, right? But you, don't also, you also don't want to pull it back because then you're going uh, to fall back. You want to keep it close, vertically, catch it at the top. So again, keep it, don't hit your face, but keep it close, follow it, and catch at the top, okay? And then you, you switch 
as you wish. We got 10 alternating. Ready? We're going to start again. Start from the gorilla position. We always start with a swing. We start from the gorilla position. Let's go. And snatch and switch. One. Snatch and two. Snatch. Keep it close. And three. Stabilize those shoulder blades. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Outstanding. Beautiful. Okay? And last but not least, we have rotational swing to a bent press. Right? Rotational swing to a bent press. So we're going to start with the clean to the shoulder first. Start from the gorilla position. So we're gonna swing into the clean, okay? Remember, rotationals, you put, up, put your arms straight to the side of you, you're gonna cross that plane. Do not stay in the same plane. Cross the plane of your arm, bring it back, and then bring it to your shoulder. Be very careful, okay? Ready, and rotation, and then bend press, Come back down and switch. That's one. Clean, right? Rotational. Bent press. Look up. Bring it down. That's two. Switch. Rotation. Bent press. That's three. Switch. Clean and switch. Rotation, that's four. Switch, clean, rotation, press, that's five. Switch, rotation, that's six. Switch, rotation, clean, uh, bed press, that's seven, swing, switch, clean, rotate, back press. Eight, so swing, switch, clean, rotate, back press. Nine, one more, switch, clean, rotate, back press. And 10 and bring it down. All right, so that was exercise number five. Now we're gonna go back to four, three, two, one. We're gonna go fast, right? I'm still gonna I'm still gonna do like a little mini rest in between, right? Just to, for, so we can transition, but only for this round. So let's go work all the way back. We have snatch, so swing and snatch. Ready, and let's go. Snatch, switch, one. Snatch, two. Snatch, keep it close to your body. Three. Snatch, four. Snatch, five. Snatch, six. Snatch, seven. Snatch, eight. Snatch, nine. Snatch, 10. All right, immediately double hand swings. Gorilla position, back straight, chest up, drag and go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, drive those hips back, 14, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, excellent. Next, we have alternating cleans, alternating cleans. So start from the gorilla position, right? So we're gonna clean, power clean, switch. Power clean, switch, that's two. Power clean, that's three. Power clean, 
That's four. Switch. Power clean. That's five. Switch. That's six. That's seven. Let's go. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. Woo! All right. And then remember when we do swings, swings are special. On our way back, we start with the single arm swing and we end with the double swing. All right. So we have ten single arm swings alternating, and then we transition into a double arm swing. Do not drop the kettlebell, okay? Try your best. Here we go. Single arm swings. Start from the gorilla. Drive and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, woo! And that right there is ladder number one. Ladder number one. Woo! All right, so my Bluetooth was off, and uh, I don't know the, I don't know the, uh, how intense that was, but it is what it is. Grab some hydration. So that was a very slow, very slow and easy version. So Olguita, esa fue la fácil. That was the warm up. In round two, we don't stop. In round two, it's one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, never dropping the kettlebell. There's no resting. So I'm only going to give you cues as to what exercise is next. So I'll give you the cue as to what exercise is next. But uh, you're going to try to memorize the exercise or just try to follow me. All right. I'm going to give you plenty of time. I'm going to give you a clue. This is what's next. But it's up to you to remember the exercise and execute the exercise. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to ladder number two. Let me explain what ladder number two is. So we're going to start with the swings, but instead of starting with a basic, a basic double-handed swing, we're going to start with a double-handed high swing. So we're going to go up top, one, two, three. So your hands are going to be up here, right? And you're going to be like this, like you're trying to scare like a baby, right? You're trying to scare a kid, right? So this is uh, the monster, right? So you're here. Hands have to be up top. Elbows have to be high. Sh shoulder blades are contracted, right? Drive through. Come up to the top, right? So with dumbbells, I think it's a little bit harder. So I'm not gonna require. You, I'm not gonna require you because with a dumbbell, you can't really do an overhand unless you swing like this, like unless you grab like the outside head, or you have enough room in the handle, right? Maybe three fingers, two or three fingers, right? To go up like this, right? But if you grab on the outside, then just, just go up. Just a high, a high swing, right? Um, I can get my hands in, right? And I think most people can get their hands in and have normal people hands, so, all right? And then you transition into the single arm swing. Okay? So, so we have those high, we have those high swings into single arm swings. Okay? So the only thing that changes is the double handed swing is high. Then we're gonna go into the alternating high pulls, single arm. Okay? So with one arm, right, we're gonna high pull, switch. High pull, switch. High pull, switch. And high, same thing, you're up here, but now only instead of doing a double, you're doing a single, okay? 
this here, you're using your, 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 using your, the middle, you're using all, everything congruently. Everything is worked as one. When you do one arm, now something has to change. Your stability points are a little bit different. So single arm, swing, switch, single arm, swing, switch. We're going to do 10 of those. Then we're gonna, immediately we're going to go into the old western swings. I'm calling them old western. I, I saw a name for them, but I can't remember. So I call them old western because you're, you're pulling out the gun, right? Right? So quick hands. So you're swinging. Boom. Swing. So hands up, right? Hands up. Hands up, right? So boom. So it's an old western. Just pull the pistol out. Right? And pull the kettlebell in. Right? Pull it in. Boom. Elbow in. So I'm basically, as I'm going this way, boom, I'm gonna hit myself on the gut. And I switch. And then boom, I hit myself. Right? Boom, I hit myself in the gut. Boom. Alright? Hit yourself in the gut. Bam. Bam. All right. Hit yourself in the gut. Okay. So in here, we are going to do 10 of those alternating. Immediately, right, we're going to go into um, the basic inside outside swing. So very similar to the last one, but adding some components. The inside outside swing, remember. So you're going to swing in, swing out. Now, when you swing out, you're going to maintain the same arm, swing and switch. Swing out, swing and switch. Go out. So you only switch after the basic single arm swing. So at the basic single arm swing, you switch, you switch, right? So swing, switch. Swing, switch, swing, switch. Make sure you're moving your feet because the outside swing, you want your feet together. Why? If you're here, what's gonna happen? You're gonna hit your knee. Common sense, common sense. It has to do a little bit also with, with coordination, okay? But just common sense, right? Feet together so you can get that kettlebell through. Feet apart so you can get that kettlebell through. If your feet are together here, you're gonna hit your knees, right? Don't work the opposite way. Don't try to be like, ah, like, like open and you know, exaggerate. No, slow it down, right? Go really slow, okay, on the exercise. You don't have to go on my pace. Keep your feet, start with your feet together, swing out, open your feet, switch, open your feet, switch, close your feet. All right, it might take you a little bit to, to, to grasp, but try to grasp it. So after a swing, you're always switching the hands and you're going straight to an outside swing, remember that. So we got 10 of those and immediately we go into around the worlds. Around the worlds, as I always say, don't drop the kettlebell, that's the idea. You wanna, you wanna rotate, drop your hands, right, Push, pull them back. All right, pull them back. And then we're gonna stop at the back side. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna stop at our butt and we're gonna switch the direction. Okay, we're gonna switch the direction. All right, so we stop on this side, then, all right. So you can even stop with both hands so you can switch, so you can switch directions, right? So I stop with both hands. I just don't want to drop it. You want to be, you want to play it safe. You can even go very slow, right? To make sure that you don't drop it. And then as you start getting more confidence, you start using your hips and you start using the momentum of the dumbbell. So I'm using the dumbbell to move my hips. Okay. So it's all like you're doing um, hula hoops, all right? You're doing the hula hoop. So do your best. Um, we got 10 in one direction, 10 in the other direction. Woo! So, 
Um, so Ceci, yeah, this one is gonna be a single. This one's gonna be a single, and then round then round two, we're gonna do our doubles. All right. So this one's gonna be a little bit easier because not everyone is efficient with the kettlebells, and um, it's the slower rounds, but we go we go one by one, but then the second round is nonstop. That's the that's gonna be the killer round. So <laughs> don't even worry about it because you're gonna die in the second and uh, the third uh, the third and fourth ladders when we go back to one and two. All right. So let's get started with the basic single round, single single ladder. All right. Here we go. If you got chalk, get chalk. All right. Starting with the high swing to single arm swing. We have 10 and 10. Ready. And start from the gorilla positions. Drive and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Single arm. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring it down. Next, we have alternating high pulls, single arm, all right? Single arm high pulls. We're going to drag, high pull. On the high pulls, you stay bent over, right? You stay leaning forward. On the swing, you come straight up. Don't lean back. We never lean back, right? You're gonna hurt your lower back. You crunch, right? You round your back a little bit and you squeeze your glutes, right? On the swing. But on the high pull, you stay a little bit forward, right? So we'll go, all right, 10 reps. Start from, start from the gorilla position. Start with the high row and then go into the swing. Let's go, high row, one, Swing, high row, that's two. High row, that's three. High row, that's four. High row, that's five. High row, that's six. High row, that's seven. High row, that's eight. High row, that's nine. High row, that's 10. Beautiful, okay, bring it back. Next, we have the old westerns, right? Stick them up, stick them up. This is a bank robbery. I'm corny as hell today, man. I am corny as hell. All right, here we go, old western swings. Here we go. Start from the gorilla position, always. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive this into your head. Start from the gorilla position, okay, always. Weight on the floor, back is straight. I drag and go, all right? Straight into the, into the, into the stick them up. Let's go. And stick them up, that's one, switch. Stick them up, that's two, switch. Stick it up, that's three. That's four. That's five. Let's go. Drive with your elbow into your, into your oblique. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. Next, we have the, outs the outside basic swing to, right, the basic swing to outside swing. So, we're going to start with a swing and transfer the arm immediately. Outside swing, inside switch. Outside, all right, so... Do your best, slow it down. This is the time to figure it out. Second round is gonna be performance. This is the figuring it, figuring it out. Just teach your body how to do it. So we're gonna start with the swing, and then we're gonna to switch to the outside swing. Ready, and swing, switch hands, outside swing, middle swing. Outside swing, middle swing. Outside swing, middle swing. Outside swing. Middle swing, switch, outside, switch, it's outside. Switch, outside, 
switch outside, switch outside, switch outside, switch outside, switch outside. So we always switch after, right? One more, then good. So we always switch after the swing, right? And then with the outside swing, we follow through, right? But we only switch from the outside up. So from the from the from the middle, from the basic up, that's when we switch. Basic up, basic up. Outside, we don't switch. And then around the world, around the world, 10 and 10. Here we go. So start from one side. Right? This one we're not gonna, we're not going to uh do a swing. We're not gonna start with a swing, but when we do the when we do the flow. We're going straight into it. There's no, there's no break. You have to flow smoothly into it, right? Let's go. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop it with both hands and go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, stop it with both. Outstanding. So that was number five. Here's what you need to know. When we do the flow, we go straight into the around the world. Let me give you, let me give you the um the gist of it, right? So I'm doing right, so I'm doing the outside. Right, inside swing, right? So outside, and then boom, I switch, and I go straight into it, right? Then when I switch again, right, and I go, I'm going the other way, I'm gonna go outside, right? And straight into it, right? Straight into it. So, so if I'm going right here, right, I'm gonna go straight into the swing, okay? I'm gonna go straight into it. So after, so if I'm going, bum, bum, right? As soon as I switch, right? I'm gonna go straight into the middle swing, okay? Like I said, outside swing, no. I'm gonna go straight into the middle swing and switch and start the outside inside from that point, okay? So next, we're going back to the outside swing. We're going back to the outside swing, ready? So we're gonna start with the middle swing, switch, and start going to the outside, ready? Start from the gorilla position and swing, Switch outside. Swing, switch outside. Outside, switch. Outside, switch. Outside, switch. Outside, switch. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine, that's 10. Woo, all right. Next, the old westerns. Old westerns, stick them up. Start from the gorilla position and then drive the elbow in. Ready, and one, switch, two, switch, three, switch, four, switch, Five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch, ten, and boom. Now we got the alternating high pulls, alternating high pulls. We have ten, starting from the gorilla position, ready, and High pull, switch. High pull, switch. That's two. High pull, switch. That's three. High pull, switch. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. 
That's nine. That's 10. Woo! Outstanding. All right. And last but not least, we have the single hand swing to the double high swing. So we started with the single, all right? We got 10 and then 10 double handed high swings. Let's go, start with the single. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going double handed and high pull. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that right there is ladder number two. All right, so how's everybody feeling? Give me a thumbs up if you're still alive. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. We're 55 minutes in. All right, so. Thumbs up, thumbs up. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Come on. Marisol, where you at? Ceci, where you at? <laughs> All right, so. Um, second round. Second round, um, you can go heavier if you have a heavier kettlebell. Marisol, good job. Olguita, Kelly, where you're at? Um, so this one, we're gonna go fast. It's gonna go nonstop, right? Nonstop, I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a, a pre-warning before we get to the exercise, but we are not stopping. It is go, 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 okay? No breaks, double round. If you can hold on to the kettlebell, great. If you can't, put it down, all right? 10 push-ups at the end of the, of the workout. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So just to recap, round one, swings. Basic double-handed, basic single-handed. Alternating cleans with the swing. Back to the double-handed swings. Snatch. Rotating bend press, rotating clean bend press, right? Swing, cleans, double-handed swings, snatch, rotating bend press, and then we're working back. So just remember that as much as you can, and uh, we'll go from there. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. So nonstop. Let me get a little bit more, something to drink. Let me hydrate well. This is all about the swings. Second official ladder. Here we go. Remember, always rest at the top. We're trying not to put the kettlebells down. If you do put the kettlebells down, you start always from Gorilla position, and you jump back in, all right? Here we go, basic swings, 10 and 10. Let's go. One, this is a double round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single hand, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, we're going into cleans. Eight, nine, so power clean. Power clean, and then swing and switch. Power clean, that's two. Swing and switch. Power clean, that's three. Switch, that's four. Switch, that's five. Switch, that's six. Switch. That's seven. Switch. That's eight. Switch. That's nine. Switch. 
That's 10. Now we're going to double handed swings. Double handed swings. Let's go. One, two, we're going for 15, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we're going for a snatch. So snatch, right, and switch. Snatch and switch. That's two. Snatch and three. Switch. Snatch and four. Switch. Snatch and five. Switch. And six. Switch. And seven. Switch. And eight. Switch. And nine. One more, and then we're going to go into a clean as a setup. So set up, so clean, right? We got rotating bent press, all right? Rotating bent press, let's go. Rotate, bent press, switch. Clean, rotate, bent press. That's two. Power clean. Rotate, back press, that's three, switch, clean, rotate, back press, that's four, clean, rotate, press, that's five, clean, rotate, sorry, Bad press. That's six. Switch. Clean. That's seven. Switch. Rotate clean. Rotational clean. That's eight. Two more. Rotational clean. Bad press. That's nine, one more. Rotational clean. And snatches. Let's go. So switch, snatch. That's one. Switch, snatch. That's two. Switch, snatch. That's three. Switch, snatch. That's four. Switch, snatch. That's five. Switch, snatch. That's six. Switch, snatch. That's seven. Switch, snatch. That's eight. Switch, snatch. That's nine. One more. Switch, snatch. Now we're going into double handed swings. So double handed swings. 15. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Single, single arm clean. That's one. Switch. Two. Switch. Three. Switch. Four. Switch, five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch, ten. Now we're going single arm swings. Single arm swings, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. We're going double handed swings. Nine, ten. Double handed swings. One, two, three. It's a double round. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single handed swing. Let's go. It's a double round. One, two, three.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going cleans. So clean, switch, clean, switch. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. Let's go. That's eight. That's nine. One more. Then we got double handed swings. Double handed swings. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we got snatches, so single arm snatch. So snatch, that's one, switch, snatch, that's two, switch, snatch, that's three, switch, snatch, that's four, switch, snatch, that's five, switch, snatch, that's six, switch, snatch, that's seven, Switch, snatch, that's eight. Switch, snatch, that's nine. Switch, 10. We're going to do a little clean for the setup. So we're going to rotational bent press. So rotational, clean, bent press. That's one. Switch, clean, rotational, Bent press. That's two. Switch. Rotational. Bent press. That's three. Switch. Rotational. Bent press. That's four. Switch. Rotational. And bent press. That's five. Rotational, bent press, that's six. Rotational, press, that's seven. Rotational, press, that's eight. Switch, rotational, press. That's nine, one more. Clean, rotational. We're going snatches, snatches. Let's go straight to it. One, and switch. Snatch, and two. Snatch, and three. Snatch, and four. Snatch. And five, snatch, and six, snatch, and seven, and snatch, and eight, snatch, and nine, snatch, and ten, double handed swings. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going single arm cleans. So clean, all right, and switch. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's 10. Single. Now we have uh, single arm swings. Single arm swings. Let's go. So 10. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, double-handed swing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Woo! Ah, I'm not sure if I messed up on that one. I'm not sure if I messed up. Ceci, did we mess up or was that good? Did we cover everything? You yeah, know, you catch everything. I, so I don't know. I feel like I missed one at the end. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like I missed the double-handed swings, but I'm not 100% sure. I think, I think we did them. So we went from double-handed swing to single arm cleans all right, to the final swings. Uh, if we missed one, I think we missed one, but I doubt it. I don't know. I can't remember. Woo, but that was, that was crazy. That was crazy. I messed up. Ah, damn it. Where did I mess up? Where did I mess up? Ah, <laughs> that's what you're looking at. You're right. You are right. It's supposed to be 15. Yes. Oh, man. So did I do that at every single one or I just did that once? I can't remember. Uh... <laughs> Oye, no se le va nada. That's true. Um, so uh, Marisol. On point, you guys are on point, man. I missed that part, so I'm not sure if I did 15 on any of them. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. So we're gonna go to round two, grab something to drink. All right, we are an hour something in. That was a long round. This is, this is gonna be about seven minutes long, so we're gonna finish about the 24, 25 mark. So, All right, here we go. We have ladder number two. Ladder number two. I believe everything is 10 on this one. All right, everything is 10. So, so starting again, we're starting with the high swing to single arm swing, the alternating high pulls, the old westerns, the basic outside swing and around the world, around the world. So let's wrap this up. Let's finish strong. Catch, catch your breath. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Get good position. Starting with those double handed, starting from the gorilla. Non stop, no breaks. Don't put the weight down. Here we go. Drag and go. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single hand. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Going into the single arm pull. So single arm pull and swing. One, pull and two, pull and three, pull and four, pull and five, pull and six, pull and seven. Pull and eight. Pull and nine. Pull and now we're going to the old westerns. So old western, stick them up. That's one. Stick them up. That's two. Stick them up. That's three. Stick them up. That's four. Stick it up. That's five. Stick them up. That's six. Stick them up. That's seven. Stick them up. 
That's eight. Stick them up. That's nine. We're going to the basic outside swing. So outside, switch. One, outside, switch. Two, outside, switch. Three, outside, switch. Four, outside, switch. Five, outside, switch. Six, outside, switch. Seven, outside, switch. Eight, outside, switch. Nine, outside, switch. Ten, now I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go straight into around the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm gonna go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go into the middle, switch, outside. That's one. Middle, switch, outside. Two, switch, three, switch, four, switch, five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch. Now we're going to the Old Western. Old Western, one, switch. Old Western, two, switch. Old Western, three, switch. Old Western, four, switch. Five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch, ten. High pulls. So high pull, switch, one, high pull, switch, two, high pull, switch, three, high pull, switch, four. High pull, switch, five. High pull, switch, six. High pull, switch, seven. High pull, switch, eight. High pull, switch, nine. High pull, switch, ten. Now we're going single arm swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now we're going to those double-handed high pulls. So double-handed high pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to the single hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. High pulls, high pull, swing. One, high pull, two, switch. High pull, three, high pull, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Now we got the old westerns. So old western, one, two, three. Stick them up. Four. Stick them up. Five. Stick them up. Six. Stick them up, seven, stick them up, eight, stick them up, nine, stick them up, ten. Now outside swings, so, so outside, switch, that's one, outside, switch, that's two, outside, switch, that's three, outside, switch, that's four, 
outside, switch, that's five, outside, switch, that's six, outside, switch, that's seven, outside, switch, that's eight, switch, that's nine, around the world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're going straight to the outside swing, so, so middle swing, switch, outside swing, one, middle swing, outside swing, that's two, middle, outside, that's three, middle, outside, that's four, middle, outside, that's five, middle, outside, that's six, middle, outside, that's seven, middle, outside, that's eight, middle, outside, that's nine, middle, outside, that's 10. So now we're going westerns, right? So one, right? Swing, sorry, swing, switch, switch. Oh, I messed that one up bad. So this is four for me, five for me, six for me. What matters is that I haven't dropped it. Seven, I'm getting every single one of them done. By messing up, eight, I'm doing more work. Nine, all right, high pulls. High pull, switch, one. High pull, switch, two. High pull, switch, three. High pull, switch, four. High pull, switch, five. High pull, switch, six. High pull, switch, seven. High pull, switch, eight. High pull, nine. High pull, 10. Now we're going single arm swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double handed high swings to finish up. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! And that was all about the swing. Ladder number two. Ah. Oh my goodness. So I had a little bit of a tiny screw up there. All it did was make me work harder because I had to get like an extra couple of side swings or whatever mess I made. But uh, guys, we finished, man. We finished. Congratulations to everybody who made it. Let me know you're alive. Give me a thumbs up. We get a standing ovation. Woo! That was an hour 22, 755 calories. Outstanding. You guys, you guys keep doing this, man, and you eat right, you're gonna get fantastic results, man. That was that was awesome, man. That was awesome. So that was the all about the swing. All about the swing ladders, man. Uh so last one was the origin. This is the officials, right? The, the two, the first two ladders. So woo! <laughs> Kelly. Como siempre, asusta, pero gusta. Voy a hacer una camisa que dice eso. Asusta, pero, pero, pero gusta. Woo. Ah. Ah, uh, there was nothing different. Um, the only thing I call it, I call it the all about the swings because we added a swinging component on every exercise. So every exercise, we added a, um, a component. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so the first the first round, right? The first round, 
was like a warm up, and it was like we dropped the kettlebell every single time. We started from scratch, so I can explain movements and things like that. So it's kind of like a double explanation, but we were in the workout. But the flow, the second round was a flow. There was no stopping, no putting the kettlebell down. So the first one was kind of like a circuit training with like transitions, the with like with point blank transitions, and then the second round was the flow. We flowed through the exercises. So by flowing means we never put the kettlebell down. So that was the difference between between the first one, um, the beginning and the and the actual the actual flow. So I hope that makes sense. All right. And uh, all right, thank you everyone for showing up. So Ceci, we're good, right? You got it? So everyone, thank you for showing up. Yeah. So yeah, we always have, that's how we're always gonna do the kettlebell workouts. So it's like a little explanation, education, showing movements. But then the second second time around is is go 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 go, and we're flowing, man. We're flowing, and that was a great flow. So thank you everyone for showing up. I will see you on Friday for leg day. Have an awesome day. Have a wonderful day. Hugs and kisses. And have a great rest of your week. All right. So keep kicking butt. And I'll see you all on the next workout. Remember to like the, hit the like button, right? Hit that little thumbs up button somewhere in the uh, description area. All right. So see you later, alligators. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Gracias, Marisol. Bye, Olguita. Laters, everybody.